There we go. Ooh. <laughs> got him. I think it's big. Ooh, I got a good one. Guys, we are at Gull Harbor on Lake Winnipeg. This is a place I've heard so much about. It is uh, quite the destination. And when people think Lake Winnipeg, a lot of people think South Basin, which obviously is one of the top destinations. But if you go a little further up, there's an island called Hecla Island. And on Hecla Island, there's this beautiful place called Gull Harbor. They've got a restaurant, snowboard rentals, they've got cabins, they've got a skating rink in front of me. So much that we're gonna explore over the next couple of days. I got some friends that joined me, some familiar faces from this channel. We're just gonna get the full Gull Harbor experience in Manitoba. It's gonna be good, stay tuned. Need an intro for what's going on. Well, we're out here on Lake Winnipeg, not the North Basin this time. We're out here, Nate's Bates, Real Life with Mike, Cali with Mike, and we're out here with the Gull Harbor. The boys. The boys. And uh, we got the snow bear out. We're just drilling a couple holes and we're gonna see what's down there. So anyways, we got a good crew. We'll get some, some intros from the, the Gull crew. We're putting Mr. Drake on the spot. How you doing? I'm Drake from Gull Harbor. Welcome to Lake Winnipeg. I guide here all winter. I run the snow bear, cook lunch, spin yarns for people. Do, do it all. How deep are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at about 17 to 20 feet right now. Nice. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get set up. It is just absolutely stunning weather. It is, my truck said plus nine when I was driving out here and it is end of January. These should be the coldest days of the year. Uh, yeah, we're gonna spread out and command and conquer. It's nice to have a big crew. Tell me where the fish are. Commercial glove is sensing it right here. Uh, 20 right here. I just went right on top of that spine. There was a fish I was marking right away. It's pretty rocky here. There's a couple of fish 40 feet that way. I think I gotta go a little more off the edge. I'm marking a little bit bigger blobs, like 60 feet out. This feels so different than what I'm used to for Lake Winnipeg fishing. Very different terrain. These bluffs are just stunning. We're gonna catch some fish. Just we'll take a little bit of find them. There's a lot of deep water here when you go farther north. So yeah, we're in 25 feet here, which I'm not used to fishing on Lake Winnipeg. So you get more other species too, whitefish, burbot, it seems. Can't tell if that's a big fish down there or not. It almost seems like its tail's moving. Try dropping down there, we'll see. Maybe it's just a big old burb. How's it going? Jay, nice to meet you. Oh, that fish might actually bite. That's the most interested fish I've had. Come on, come on. There we go. Well, kind fun. of, I think it might be a little walleye, I'm not sure. First fish at Gull Harbor. There we go. Well, the other guys are packing up, the sun's setting. I got my first walleye at Gull. Good start to the trip. Going back. This is a beautiful night. You got one? Nate's got a fish. <laughs> I think there's a bourbon on my screen too right now. Woo! Nate is hooked up. Look at that sunset it behind you. Feel very big. You're making them look big. Well, I think we are gonna head back to the cabin. There's so many fish on live scope, not in a bitey mood. Definitely could be the weather, could be the angler, who knows, but you can't control the fishing, you can't control the weather, but you can control the accommodations and the amenities and I hear the restaurant here is pretty spectacular. So we're gonna meet up with the rest of the crew and go have dinner at the restaurant. Looking forward to it. Well, we made it back to the cabin. One of the sweet things, one of my favorite things about accommodations is when you can snowmobile right up to your cabin. So we able to snowmobile back and I hear we have a seven o'clock reservation at the restaurant, which I'm excited about. For our side, this is nice. Look at this place. Have a seat, Nate. Or Mike. Somebody, want, nobody wants to sit beside me. <laughs> Mm. 
Whoa, look at everyone's phone out. <laughs> <laughs> so many cameras. Missed it. <laughs> How did I miss it? <laughs> Thoughts on the food, Mike? It was delicious. Daniel, what do you think about the food here? A1, 10 out of 10. Incredible food. Like, so, so, so good. Call it a night, and tomorrow's our big full day of fishing. Yeah, that was great. Welcome to day two at Gull Harbor. Had a great night. Yeah, this place is so much more than just a fishing spot. Obviously fishing is the focus for us, but man, skating rink, sauna, the restaurant. Apparently this place just buzzes in the summer, e even even busier than the winter, but uh, I mean, like, look at this. I got my snowmobile right here. We're gonna roll out. I think the rest of the guys are ready to go, and today we're gonna catch a couple more fish. Yesterday we kind of rolled in, caught a couple burbot, couple walleye, but didn't really show the full potential of what we can do here, so looking forward to that. <laughs> This is pretty sweet being able to pull your sled right up to the pump. We are going to check out the Gull Harbor store. And I think that's where our crew is waiting for us to get our day started. They got a really good stocked up store here, but I think I'm eyeing the breakfast sandwiches. Jimmy Dean. We made it out. Beautiful, beautiful morning. A little later start, but that's okay. Been using the Angler's Edge mapping. You can download it on your phone, so it doesn't matter what brand graph you have. If you're fishing like Winnipeg, I would highly recommend, you know, figuring out what zone you're fishing and, and buy the map, get it on your phone, put it on your iPad. Uh, it's super convenient. Especially if you're not wanting to invest in a big GPS unit, buy the map for 10 bucks. I bought the whole area here for 50 bucks and uh, got amazing detail. So we're basically fishing a little flat that sticks off this island here and by little it's big. Everything's big on Lake Winnipeg and we'll do a lot of live scoping and moving today because yesterday wasn't really a good indication of what's possible here. So should be a good day. Got a jig and a minnow on. Look at all these fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the screen right now. This guy's gonna bite. Ooh, it looks big. It looks really big. This could be a tank. Come on. Got him. I think it's big. Ooh, I got a good one. No! Oh, that was big. I just lost a tank. Oh, that was huge. That was the one. Oh, I'm rattled. There we go. For how many fish we saw, it took a minute for me to finally stick one. Ooh, that is a ugly, ugly sauger. We're just gonna tuck them back. Here we go. Another little guy, that's all right. So many fish, so, so many fish. Wow, that is the smallest greenback. Yeah, it's just nonstop fish here. Oh, hello. Hello. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Keep coming. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 oh no, Nate! No! Come on, I need some redemption. This looks good so far. I like what he's doing. There we go. Man, a little better. I don't think it's too big, but I will gladly take it. We're in 25, 26 feet of water here. Going back. Oh, here we go. This looks like maybe, maybe decent. Oh, that was nice. This is a better fish. This is a little better. Man, it makes you wonder how big those other ones were I lost. That's a proper, 
Get the nut! There we go. That's more like it. Little scissor kick in the snout. Sweet. Cool. That is a nice Hecla walleye. Long overdue making the trip to Hecla and doing this. Gull Harbor had been on my radar for a long time and I can tell you I will definitely be back. I would love to come back here in a boat. And I think it's pretty amazing that now they have good mapping up here. Cause that's, that's a big deal when you come to an area. Obviously it's nice having a guide, but if you're not fortunate enough to have a guide or guides are booked and you want to do it yourself, there's some great, great mapping. Here we go. Oh, that was uh, an aggressive one. I'm sure he took my minnow, but maybe he uh, just watch it, wants a jig and spoon without minnow. I mean, I think he does. Look at this guy. Fishing is turning on. It's another medium. Decent. Got another nice one. It's got some interesting marks. I was going to ask Nate if he thinks those are from a net. Made it out somehow. I'd say he got it into the net and then made it through. Well, that's a couple nice fish. Man, that makes you wonder about the one I lost. Cause the one I lost looked like twice as big. I like just ripping a chunk of a minnow tail. Cause it seems like it's the firmest piece so it doesn't break off right away. So that's the smallest size scissor kick. We are dropping back down. Biggin! Mike's hooked up, he just lost it. Now it's back on. There you go. That's the biggest fish of the day. Mike got a good one, it's awesome. We knew they were around, we've seen them kicking, hooked a couple, it's just a matter of time. So, uh, you're going small. Those are so big. I'll go big. <laughs> $100 worth of product, Nate's baits or catch and cook? Okay. Weight or length? Length, we're in Manitoba. Well, I got a scale along. Okay, Dumb longest ports. fish. Dumb ports don't lie. Okay, all right, no. all right, it's on $100, Nate's baits versus catch and cook. Ooh, fish coming up for the dead stick. You just ate it. This could be it, Nate. This could be the end of the competition. Nothing wrong with second. Currently, we're gonna call this 24 and a quarter. Currently beating Currently Nathaniel. <laughs> so for dead sticking, situations like this, I know I say it all the time, but this drench has the soft tip and it is perfect for these applications. You always wear that? Wear Let's do a look on your face. Yeah. Ah. I loosen the drag off on Nate's rods, like just so incredibly loose, like the spools are almost going to fall. He just backlashed the spinning reel. I played a win, Nate. Ooh, there's a mark. None. No! Oh! Nate was smack talking me. <laughs> that was Jay doing what Jay does best. He's, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Well, that's why I'm trying to distract you. Like a zone, magnetic field. <laughs> yeah. Just keep cranking. I'm sorry, Nate. We haven't measured any yet. I guess we need to measure fish in this competition. Another 24 incher. Well measured. So Nate's been using the bigger baits, big jig, bigger rattle bait. I've been going on the subtle side. They all have their place. Oh, dead stick. The dead stick's doing it. We got the meathead with the stinger. Just a salty. Oof. It's moving a little more water. Oh yeah. Nate might be game over. Nice. Nothing too crazy, but my biggest green back of the trip so far. I'm just gonna hold in the water for a second. I'd rather freeze my hand than freeze the fish. 21 and a quarter. And a quarter. Nice fish. Thank that you. Bad. So with the meathead, I'm just kinda Threading it through the mouth, kind of out the side of the head. I don't know, I'm conflicted on stingers. I feel like they just get stuck under the ice, but then with the stinger, I kind of took it near the tail to spread that hook gap out. And that's what you got. 
sits a little more horizontal in the water, but. Have you thought about downsizing, Nate? Andrew from Gull Harbors cooking up some lunch. He is, uh, he's taking care of us. Well, I heard dinner is served, so we'll go see what's cooking up at the Snow Bear. So this is carb free, Nate? Carb free. Those are carb free potatoes right there. Building up my strength so I can whoop Jay's butt. <laughs> that looks good. Thank you so much for cooking. Bon appetit. Gull Harbor, baby. All right, that was a great morning slash early afternoon, but we are moving to a little structure I saw further down the shore. Amazing lunch. Nice catching fish. It's been a good day. I love fishing new water. I could do, I could fish new water every day. Sometimes you strike out, sometimes it's tougher, but obviously got some intel between the Gull Harbor guys and uh, the commercial fishermen we've been chatting with. So it's good. There's seems to be fish all around. Just a matter of getting them to bite lots that are marking that aren't biting, but sunset could all come alive. All right, we moved a ways down the shoreline, kind of spreading out as a crew a little bit. Looks like there's fish right down beneath. Got the jig in the minnow on the right, your left, rattle bait on the opposite side. Oh, it's coming up on my minnow. Got him. Look at that. On the stinger. There's a lot of fish here right now. Oh my gosh, it is nuts. Just eat it. There we go. Tangled my other line, but that is okay. Cool. Let's fish around. What the heck, I have one on this rod too. <laughs> he must have ate the rattle bait dead stick. Man, I, oh, wow, it is turning on. Now he's chasing it up. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we're just fishing south side of an island. I saw a little rubble, like a little bit of a hump on the uh, angler's edge. Just a slight difference can just hold fish, right? It's such a massive lake. It's not always gonna be super obvious spots. And sometimes those spots that aren't super obvious are the best ones, so I think he wants the minnow. Nice. It's green. Oof. This one's a little better. Oh, not better. Our fish count is improving drastically. Oh, I know we get spoiled by our walleye fishing up here. If you want to do like a bucket list walleye trip, I would definitely recommend coming to Lake Winnipeg. It is not that intimidating to fish. There's lots of guides available. And Gull Harbor is definitely, it's where you start to get into the Canadian Shield. It gets a little more scenic when you get farther north. On Lake Winnipeg, there's islands here. You go to the south end, it's still great fishing, but not nearly as uh, scenic. I'm already thinking about the food at the restaurant tonight. They, they knocked it out of the park yesterday. There's just fish everywhere right now. There might be a big fish in here. Like that could be a big fish. Yeah, that's a big one. That is a big fish or bigger than anything we have caught so far. Please stay pinned. The bottom of the hole is where it makes me nervous. There we go. Not a giant, but that is sweet. It is evening, it is prime time, half an hour till sunset, and we're just gonna keep it rocking. Uh, this is fun. Come on. Got him. It is getting dark. This might be the last fish of the night. Ah. That's a nice fat fish. All right, bunch around this size. It's going back and we are headed back to the lighthouse for another spectacular dinner, I am sure.
Well guys, that's a wrap on another Lake Winnipeg adventure. Like I've said a couple times in this video, Gull Harbor has a bit of everything. I am already planning my trip back in the boat. Lots of cabins, condos. This is what I've been staying in the last couple nights. The hospitality has been phenomenal. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for Huntfish Manitoba for making this video possible. And we'll see you guys next time.